Welcome back everyone to the final installment, part 3 of Fell Winter's Lie Quest. I'm Horde Scientist 7 and whew, it's been a long wait to do this quest. So, let's head on to the moon and get to the bunker. So, uh, I just got onto the game. It was literally minute, like two minutes after they had done the hotfix for the quest and I was just alright let's get, get this gun get this all done so we're gonna head on down here and I'm on my little uh, what was this moments of triumphs no what was it the summer of 2019 Sparrow I think it's actually from moments of triumph I look goofy so I'm actually kinda curious what kind of you know, story dialogue every um, I'm gonna keep the full dialogue and every bit of it this time in the vid so y'all are gonna listen to it and while it's playing I'll be quiet so let's get right into it he's telling a story in a time of great prosperity a tyrant king sent his son to live among the people and learn their ways. He did so for many years, until a great calamity befell the kingdom. In the aftermath, the tyrant's son was changed. Wow. We all know the tyrant's probably Rasputin, and the sun is Bellwinter. Alright, so you want to head down here? Um, I actually kind of thought that you had to go to the right or left because of the waypoint, but I got confused. I was like, oh, wait. Uh, it's supposed to go down these steps. So, a goof on my part. Let's hear the next dialogue. Tyrant's son turned away from his father and became a warrior. The tyrant chased his son across fields and mountains and oceans. He said, if I can't have my son, then no one shall. Wow. And that's when Rasputin killed him. In the end, the tyrant used his son's love of the people against him. He promised him a miraculous technology that could rebuild the kingdom. When his son came to claim it, he unleashed a plague upon him. His son was destroyed. And the tyrant looked upon his tyranny and wept. Uh, the SIVA outbreak. This really makes me think that they're going to do it. So, everyone, after you hear this little bit of dialogue, just go right behind the statue and right back here. So, very interesting story, and Rasputin actually became kinder because he lost his son. Amazing. And sad at the same time. Bell Winter, part Exo, part Warm Eyed, and part Guardian. As well as an Iron Lord. Talking about himself? I think the tyrant's son is. Yeah, yeah, you were putting together. You were putting the whole story together, Anna Bray. Alright, let's drop down here. And. Alright, there we go. Small little lag. Ooh, look at that. 
Oh, you got to admire this. That is really cool. Just absolutely amazing. I really did like the story for this. But I would have to say it was kind of a long wait. That stupid bug kind of slowed down the progress. And we didn't get the uh, Fellwinter shotgun ornament in the store this week. So I'll have to wait until next week to get it. Dang. Holographic version of Sefell Winter. His gun. And if you notice, his right leg and right bracer on his arm from his Iron Venner armor is there. So, that was actually pretty interesting. So, it looks like Rasputin had parts of his son's armor retrieved. Couldn't retrieve him. Guardian, can you read me? There you are. Comms cut out completely. You're in a really old part of the bunker. The signal's terrible. Yeah. This place is like a time capsule. Where it's awesome. are we? Well, I'm just looking at this, and let's cut to here, to the next part. This looks like the casing of an old safety AI, but marked with Rasputin's symbol. These transcripts suggest his original code was for... a sort of emergency response system from pre-Golden Age space station. Checking oxygen levels, fuel, that kind of thing. Clovis Bray took a safety AI and turned it into an interplanetary defense system with sentience. And Rasputin kept all this, almost like a scrapbook of his past, a way to remember his roots. And he showed it to us. When did he learn to be so sentimental? Wish Zavala could see this. Probably became sentimental when he killed his son. I mean, he had a son, so he had some kind of sentiment together. Well, that is the whole quest, everyone. And it was pretty interesting story. Hopefully, they'll drop some more lore and story besides the almighty bit. Relating to Rasputin and maybe more SIVA stuff near the end of the season. That'd be great. But, thank you for joining me. Um, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for, to get notified for further videos that we have on Polycore Media. Um, I'm Port Scientist 7 and thank you everyone once again for watching the vid and just a quick little recap this gun looks amazing and hopefully it'll be really good in Crucible so thank you again and have a great day